Hello, I'm Michael Cowling. Welcome to Podcasting 101. By the way, you can pause and rewind this movie whenever you like, as well as have it open alongside your podcast project. Hold the command key and press tab to flick between the two. We'll be using GarageBand, Photo Booth and QuickTime Pro. We'll also be using a USB microphone because it records better audio than the built-in mic at the top of the MacBook screen. The content of your podcast is actually more important than the technology. So let's choose the society and environment topic of human rights. This is an example. You could just as easily be making a podcast of a science experiment or a PE throwing school or an English interview. We'll be using notes compiled by Claire Forsyth, SNE teacher. I'll just click on them here. These have been typed up in 18 point to be used as graphics. The Australian Human Rights Commission website has some downloadable graphics. Here's the URL. I'll flick it up on the screen. And I'll just run the cursor over www.humanrights.gov.au slash info underscore four underscore students. Getting started. Open GarageBand, which will be over here somewhere in the dock, and I'm going to look for a, a guitar. Here it is. I'll just open it. If GarageBand is not in the dock, look for it in the Go menu. I'll just click on Go and now choose applications and because this list is arranged in alphabetical order if we just scroll up soon we're going to find GarageBand so here it is I'll go click click to open if there's already a project go to file and choose new and now we'll go to create new podcast episode so I'll click on that and it's a good idea to use first names and the date as the file name because the chances of it being overwritten are very small. So I'll just type in my first name and today's date. I'll put in as this form and we want it to be that suffix dot band and we'll save it to that folder called Michael Cowling. So I'll click create. Now, there are several things we have to do to have a successful uh, podcast. The first is we've got to tell the computer about the microphone, and we need to do that in two places. So I've got a USB microphone here. You could use the microphone that comes at the top of the MacBook screen, but this USB microphone will give better audio. And it's important that you make sure the green light on this microphone is turned on. Now I've just connected the uh, microphone and as you can see GarageBand has found it so I'll click yes because we want to use that device. But more importantly we're going to the blue or the black apple, I'll just point to that and now we'll choose system preferences because we have to tell the computer at the system level about this microphone. So click on sound and the name for this microphone is AK5370 and it's founded and as you can see it's already got an input level make sure that the input volume is over on the right because we can easily turn the volume down if it's too loud so I'll go up to system preferences now and I'll choose quit I'm now back in GarageBand and this is the second place to check that the microphone is connected I'll choose preferences and I'll go to the second icon here called Audio MIDI and I'll click on that and as you can see it's showing the microphone here as well um, sometimes it shows built-in microphone and if it does of course just choose AK5370 so I'll close this by clicking on the red button there and it's very important by the way not to turn the microphone off because if you do even though you can see it, the computer can't anymore, so it will use the inbuilt. All right, the first thing we need to do is to do the voice settings to make sure that our recording is as good as we can make it. So I'm going to click on the icon for male voice because I'll be making this, 
And you'll notice that over here it's changed to all of these exciting drivers. And I'll just click. The default is male radio, but it's best in many circumstances to choose male radio noisy, so I'll just select that because that reduces the frequencies of all the sounds round which are not human frequency. The next thing I'm going to choose is the input source and I'm going to change that from stereo to mono and that means that we'll be able to see the waves better. I'm just showing the area where the waves will be in a few minutes. And the next thing I'm going to click on is details at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to give this podcast a little bit of reverb. So I click on that box just here. And now I'm going to go across and I'll drag this to about mm, 9 or 10%. And that stops our voices sounding really flat. The next thing I'm going to choose is Visual EQ. That's an equaliser. And I'll click on the blue tags over here. And this is an alphabetic list. And we're going to go all the way down to Reduce S, which I'll now highlight. And I'm going to click Continue for this message. Now reduce S gets rid of that S distortion that's common in most people's speech and now that I've mentioned it you'll be able to hear it a bit. But this program, GarageBand, will reduce it. So we've got all our drivers set up. We're now ready to record. I'm going to adjust the microphone so that it's about a forearm's length from my mouth. And this is the record button just here. I'm pointing to it. And if you let the uh, pointer, the mouse pointer hover, it'll tell you what it does. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on start recording and wait for a second for the machine to get up to speed. And then I'm going to read my script and I'll just adjust that so I can see it easily.